Hey guys, it's May May, and it is time to show you two new stamp sets. One that is our regular stamp of the month club, and the other that is just our release for the month, which I'm super excited about. And let me show you the release set. This one is called How Many, and I love this set because it gives you all the numbers that you would need for just about anything you can imagine, plus an ampersand, a percent sign, a hashtag or number sign or pound sign. You get S, T, R, D, T, H, and N, D, so you can have first, second, third, fourth, like that. Then you get Look Who's Turning, Happy Birthday, and the Happy Birthday are in separate um, words, so they're not together. You get I Am, Years, Old, Happy, Anniversary, and these are separate also, and you get a question mark and an exclamation point. And we'll stamp those out together in a few minutes because that is not the club set, that is the regular set. If you're interested in that one, it's on the store now, you can go pick that one up. It is not the club set. This is the club set. Now, if you are a member of our regular Stamp of the Month Club, not our scripture set, this is the regular Stamp of the Month Club. The scripture set, you'll see the middle of the month, but this one is the original. So here we go. Ready for this? This is it. I love this set. Look at this. I'm going to do it where there's no glare. I'm going to turn it back this way. There we go. This one has layering images. So you have a butterfly in stitches and a solid butterfly for underneath. You have a dragonfly in stitches and a solid dragonfly underneath. And then you have sentiments. Now I had a plan for these sentiments and I tell you what, we'll stamp them out as I talk about the plan. So I'm gonna stamp these in black, but I'm gonna show you some samples that I did using different colors. And you can see that my solid images have kinda of gotten stained from colored uh, ink, but that's no big deal. They still stamp just perfect. But I'm gonna do them in black so you guys can see them on the screen really well. So there is the dragonfly, and I did not get enough ink on the top. I'm gonna to do it again. I clearly did not do that well enough. Let's try it one more time. This is the solid piece for the dragonfly. So that's what that looks like, and this um, piece that goes on top of it is made so it looks like stitches whenever you use a lighter color on top. So let me pick this one up here and I'm going to dip it into some Onyx black ink from Versafine and I'll stamp it here and let you see what the stitched version looks like. So you can see the little stitched version, version there. And so if you're using like yellow or some color like that and then you stamp them on top of each other, you get this image. So you see how you can kind of do the layered stamp. And I have a couple of them done. Let me see, layered up. Nope, I don't have another layered one, but I'll show you one that I colored. I did this one and I just colored it with my Spectrum Noir. And I love how you have all this versatility. It's like a colored, um, like a coloring sheet there. that You can just color in whatever you'd like. So that's the dragonfly. Let's look at the butterfly. So this is the butterfly body. And this is the solid image. Okay, so you have the solid butterfly, which you can stamp on top of with the stitched image. And I'll pull off the stitched image and show you that one. And these are good size, by the way. This is a two by two block, and that butterfly just fits there. So you've got a nice big focal point. Here's what it looks like stitched. I think this is cute all just by itself in black and white. I think that is adorable. And let me show you some that I colored on that one as well. This one I colored with Spectrum Noir, so you can see all the little colors. And I also added some Wink Stella that you can barely see and I use my white gel pen in there as well. So there's that butterfly. And then this one was a um, solid image in the background and then the, the layered image on top. So I used some Brutus Monroe ink in the background and did the big solid stamp. And then I went on top of it with the stitch stamp. And then there's a little bit of Wink of Stella, which you probably can't see, but that is on there. And then look at this one. I think this is so cute. It is done with Spectrum Noir, multiple colors, very purple, love it. So that's that one. Now let's look at the sentiments. I'm gonna start with this big word. This word says imagine. And I just think that wings and butterflies and things like that remind me of imagining or daydreaming, you know? So there's imagine. Then we have this long sentiment. This sentiment says, what can happen when you? Now, I'm gonna stamp what can happen when you on my page, and then I'm gonna show you my idea behind it. So here's what can happen when you. Then we have all these sentiments to go with it. This one is spread your wings. So what can happen when you spread your wings? Love it. This one is take flight. 
So what can happen when you take flight? Now, obviously you don't have to stamp these together. You can just put these underneath the butterflies or any stamps you have in your stash that have wings on them. That would be cool, or even airplanes. This one says, what can happen when you dream? I like that one. This word is soar. What can happen when you soar? I love that. And let's see, what else have I got? Oh, I've got the word fly. So what can happen when you fly or just fly? You know, you could use that in any old way. Then we have this sentiment that just says, flying by to say hi. I think that one's cute. So you don't have to use that one with anything else or you can. So there's that one. Then we also have, I just think this fits with butterflies and things like that. This one says, best wishes. I just thought you'd be able to use this in a lot of ways with these butterflies. So there's best wishes. And then the last one, which is probably my favorite one on the whole bunch, the whole of all the sentiments, this one says, dreams and wings are wonderful things. Let me stamp that one where you can see it good. I just love that one. See that? Dreams and wings are wonderful things. So that is the whole club set for this month. So if you're a member of our stamp club, this will be shipping out Monday and Tuesday is when these will start hitting the uh, mailbox or our mailbox to head out to you guys. There's what it looks like super up close. So you can see that. And I'm excited for you guys to get it and I can't wait to see what you make with it. Now I wanna show you the set that's not the club set. I just wanna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna stamp some of it, but not all of it, cause it's a lot. So this is that set. This is the one that's called How Many. And I wanna show you here. You have this little sentiment that says, look who's turning. And you can do like, look who's turning one, look who's turning 99, look who's turning, you know, whatever. So you have that little sentiment. Well, I just totally stamped it off the screen. Let me move that where you guys can see it. There we go. So there's look who's turning. And then you get, let me see what else is on here I can show you. Then you get this sentiment that says, I am. And I think this is super cute because there's so many ways you can use this. I wanna show you, you can go, I am, and I'm gonna take this number three and stamp it right underneath I am. So you can have I am three. And you still have more stamps in here because I'm going to use all of them and show you. This one says years. So you can do I am three years. This will not be centered because I am not over it. <laughs> three years. And then you have the word old as well so you can use it. So you could make cards or this would be so cute in your mini albums because you can document how old your child is in the mini album or something like that. I think that'd be adorable. Then you also get happy birthday. And I want to show you what I did. I took those words and left them separate and I'll show you why. Let me stamp them real quick. So this is happy right there. And then birthday. So they're separate, so you don't have to have them together. Let me show you an example on a card I made yesterday in a video. So see how I took and I did happy 25th birthday? You can do so much with this. I also want you to know that the anniversary, happy anniversary is separate too, so you can move them apart. You can stamp them together, but you can also move them apart and stamp them. And again, they're separate words. You can put them anywhere on the page, just like that. And then, have I missed anything? Of course, you've got the ampersands, and you've got the numbers, and you've got percentages, and you can do your little first, third, uh, fourth, second, like that with those little numbers. So there you go, there's the club set for this month, so that'll be coming to you, and this is the new set for this month that is currently in the store, and you can pick it up now. Now, if you'd like to join our stamp club, just click on the link below to my store, which is maymaymadeit.com, and you can choose the club that fits you. The way it works is for $11.99 a month, you get a full-size stamp set. You also get free shipping on any stamp set you purchase throughout the year. So like this set, you could use your free shipping code for. And once you're a member for 12 consecutive months, you get a free exclusive stamp set just for being a member for the whole year. The club is only $11.99 a month, so that's another little discount you get. Our regular sets are $12.99. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I cannot wait to see what you guys create with these stamp sets, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.